So your system is running slow or you're just concerned about some stuff uh, running on your system. So let's go ahead and launch the uh, task manager. Now you can hit control alt delete and select it. But I just typed it in here and I uh, selected it from the search bar. I'm going to go look at here and see the things that are running. Now here in task manager we can see the things that are running. My, my screen recording software I'm using to create the video is running. The task manager itself. And there's these hundreds of other processes maybe that are in here. And it's really too tedious to go into them all. Now if you're in advanced use, you might want to go in here and get the details of each one of these. But most of the time they're okay to let run. What we're going to do is skip through the tabs and go in here to startup. We're going to see what things are being launched uh, during startup. Now as you can see the first one here is an AMD dual core uh, optimizer. And quite frankly I have an Intel so why is that? Well. If we look here and we look at the properties, we can see uh, what it, it is there. But we can search online, which is even easier. So you just highlight an item, say search online, and look at it. tells you exactly what it is. Now it says AMD Dual Core Optimizer, but it's also got this name, AMD Underbar DC Underbar Opt.exe. Okay, so it's probably the, the right thing. Uh, but you can make sure it is by coming over here and getting a little more information. If you look up here, there's a bar just like File Explorer, which you can right click on and add a, uh, another field to it. And here's the command line, so we can see exactly where it's located at in the name of the program. And that'll help us identify it. Now, going back to what uh, we searched on earlier when it find online, we find that there's plenty of sites that want to help you out. Now, there's you can choose each one you want, but I'm going here to File.net for right now. Uh, and it tells you exactly what it is and what's going on to help you make a decision on whether or not you need it. Now, if you look here uh, and we read a little bit, you find out it's designed for use in Windows XP. So this was probably installed in an old game I had and it just installs it by default. And obviously I probably don't need it. So I can go ahead and, and disable that. But before you do that, before you just right click on it and uh, say uh, disable, you may want to go out and take a look at the file location of where it's at. Okay, and you go there, and there might be uninstalled utility here, which you can get rid of it. Um, but if, and because it's older, it probably doesn't. Uh, you can also go to your start menu and see if you can find anything underneath AMD or something like that. Sometimes there's an uninstall there. But because this is probably installed by a game as an ancillary program, there's nothing here for us to do. So we right click on it and say disabled and uh, it won't affect your system. Now it could get reinstalled if you install a game again later on, uh, but for now uh, it, it's not going to affect your system operation. So moving on, here's a couple of HP Packard ones uh, by something to do with printers and we expand it, we can see what they are. So here I go, I'm going to go ahead and go look at it and uh, check this out. For example, this one here, the scheduler. I search online, comes up here in the same list of stuff. I'll go to a, maybe a different one here and it'll tell me uh, what's going on. So, if, And after I read it and make my decision, I'll decide whether or not uh, I can disable it. And of course, then I go back to the uh, task manager and do exactly that. I come over here, right click, say disable, and, and I'm done with that particular one. I'm skipping down here to uh, another program after I'm done with those HP ones to um, OneDrive. If you're a OneDrive person you probably want to have it, although it has a high impact running in the background. But here's one from NVIDIA that talks about its uh, uh, driver for the boards and it's actually the GeForce Experience which I don't really care about that much either uh, but and it has a high impact so you can disable that if you want as well. Again, go into different to file.net again it tells you all about it. So you're going to repeat this for all the programs in your list and figure out from reading which ones you can and cannot. And if you make a mistake, you can come back and do it. But here's one that you can't tell because there's no open file location here. If you search online, you end up with this generic uh, description of a computer program. So anything that's sort of hidden and don't understand what it is, um, that's because it maybe didn't do a good job of the programming to register it and put it into the Windows system. But you can find out because what we did is we enable that extra column and tells us exactly where it's at. And even in this one, it's from Microsoft Office, which I'm an Office user, and it's a OneNote thing, which I can go out to the internet and type in OneNote m.exe and find out what it's done. So usually you can find out because of that uh, 
uh, command line. You can find out exactly what it is, find it, and decide. So you're going to uh, go ahead and repeat this for everything you find in your startup uh, tab and decide whether or not you can get rid of it or not. Uh, if you make a mistake, you can, it won't crash your system usually. You can go back in and re-enable it and uh, you'll be fine.